and this already is blowing out onion onion exhaust do you guys have haters on your channel organic they're organic onions my youtube channel she found my youtube channel this might be a bad idea look for a banana redemption video coming your way informed me that she was going to harass me relentlessly <laughs> <laughs> it stinks in here. It really smells in here. We are not having chipmunk jerky. No. Ten pounds of pasta here. Gee, golly, Willick. Oh, that, that one went up my nose. Usually when I filmed one of those, I was in my pajamas. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Look what I have. Look at this. Onions. I have onions. I agree these. Isn't that amazing? So I went out and picked them. And they smell like onions, they do. I went out and picked them because I'm gonna plant more. I have a lot more onion sets to plant and I thought, why not? So I'm gonna dehydrate these. What I really like are these tops. I, I love the top, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love the tops and I'm gonna dehydrate them so I can use them later. So we can have fresh onions all year round. Who wouldn't want that? I think that's amazing. First thing I'm gonna do is wash them because I did just pick them so they're a little dirty but I'm gonna wash them you can watch me if you'd like we'll do it together you want to do it together got my dehydrator here too it's all ready to go raring and ready to go it's excited but you know what I don't know if I should do the onions in the house or in the garage because is my house gonna smell like onions I guess we're gonna find that out aren't we I don't know let me go put this over there you want to see what else I have you're gonna be shocked when you see this because I am making macaroni and cheese for my daughter's wedding because it's going to be an outdoor wedding because of all the virus and stuff so i am in charge of one of, well one of my jobs is baking macaroni and cheese so look at this i got 10 pounds is it 10 pounds 10 pounds of pasta here yep i'm gonna do this in my roaster wish me luck wish me oh, wish me luck this bag is so heavy let me go put the bag down okay back to these onions I'm gonna wash them in my sink and get a system we'll get a system going all right I don't know what maybe you know what we'll take the dirty onions out yeah and I'll clean this just rinse this out so then the dirty onions can stay over there and maybe I'll get another cutting board too I didn't plan ahead very good here so you know what the good onions are gonna go in here and let me go get my other cutting board. All right, I got another cutting board. We'll move you back a little bit. So, what's the plan, Stan? This is my favorite knife. So I'm just gonna wash these off and then, I don't know yet, then probably cut the little thing off. Yeah, we'll cut the thing off. Maybe we could peel it that way. I don't like the top layer. I, some people might call that wasteful, but my worms are gonna get this so that's okay it's not wasteful when the worms get to eat it we're gonna do this to every one of these onions oh boy oh boy well, now that's getting caught can't have that oh look that whole thing is peeled off and all we got's that left and i planted two different kinds of onions i'll show you when i find them but i have purple ones and then i also here's a purple one i have purple ones and i also have the plain yellow here, let me get that off. All right, that's gonna. You know, if I take every little thing off these onions, it's gonna take me forever. There's the purple one. You see the purple? I planted purple. So later today, I'm going to get my nails done. I usually always have nails on. I just like it because I bite my fingernails. You know, I'm too old to do that. I'm just a little over 50, and grown women shouldn't bite their fingernails. I know that. I do know that. But I do. I, I do, I do do it. So I'm, I always wear nails. But because of this virus, I haven't been able to get my nails done. But they're back open now. Thank goodness they're open. So I'm going. Oh, I'm making a mess out of this one. I'm excited. I get to go get my nails done. Very, oh, here's a white one. See, here's a white one. We did a white one. Which when I get them done, I, I don't get them long you know some people get nails on and they're like super duper long and I don't know how they do anything when they do it but I don't do that I get them shorter because for one I want them to look more natural and some people actually have thought these are my real nails over the years over the years because over the years I've gotten my nails done but I'll get them really short because I play the piano ew ew 
I didn't, I missed that. There was a hard thing on the bottom, can't have that. I do, I, get that in there. Oh, where was I? Short, shorter nails because I play the piano too. Have you guys heard my piano playing video? I have one of those up. One of them might be called My Secret Talent and the other one might be, I don't know what it's titled. Through the coronavirus, I played the piano and recorded it. Not my face, just my, like my hands and the sound. Because usually when I, when I filmed, what is, ew, ew. Usually when I filmed one of those, I was in my pajamas. You know, I didn't want to be in my pajamas. But anyway, I would record some music and put it on Facebook because I have a lot of friends that on Facebook that attended the same church I did and you know and they enjoyed it because they couldn't go to church so I thought well I love the old hymns the old hymns are my favorite Ooh, that one's got a lot of hair the old hymns are my favorite ones to play I just like them I also play the organ surprise I took organ lessons instead of I've never had a piano lesson but I've had a lot of organ lessons and when we bought my parents and when I was in third grade when I bought they bought me my first organ ouch I'm gonna cut my arm off here my finger but when they bought my first um yeah organ the organ guy said oh don't buy her a piano buy her an organ because it's really easy for an organ player to sit down and play the piano but it's harder for a piano player to sit down and play the organ. I'm glad they took his advice because I guess it was right because I can play the piano and I've never had any lessons. I can just sit down and play it. And I played for churches. I've been like their church organist some, a couple, you know, a couple years out of my life. I've done that. Didn't know that, did you? But I did that and I enjoyed it. Can I sing? No, I can't sing worth nothing. Don't ever ask me to sing because it's bad. I am going to like finish doing this. And then um, I will be right back. Lucky you guys. I'm coming back. I wonder how long it takes to dehydrate onions. I don't really know. Because I wonder how long my house is going to stink like an onion. I don't know. All right. I'll be back. They're done. They're clean. They're washed. They're dirt free now. So now we can cut them up to dehydrate them. And I've got a little bowl here to put them in. We could do this. I guess I didn't need two cutting boards out here. But, you know, hey. And I'm not real sure how to cut these, how small to cut them. I guess we'll just figure that out. We'll, we'll just figure it all out. I don't, I don't know. All right, I moved you down so you can watch me cut the onion. Here we go. You ready? I don't want them to fall apart either. Well, we're just going to go with that. And I want these, like, a little bigger because... I do. I just do. Because I like, I love, my favorite part of the onion is the green stem. That is my very favorite part. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to leave those big. And since I grew these, I know there's no junk in it. They're all like, what do you call it? Um, I don't, what am I, what word am I looking for? Organic. They're organic onions. And I'm going to cut more than one onion now because we'll be here forever if I don't do that. So we're just going to wing it. My husband, he's not a winger. I'm a winger. We get along great. I'm just like, just cut it up. And he's like, well, wait a minute. We got to measure. Did you read the book? No, still haven't read the book. Let's just go with it. There we go. Oh, that one. Oh, we'll just. And my eyes are not watering yet. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. You know what I learned too? If you wear contact lenses, because I wear contacts, but I don't have them in right now. If you wear contact lenses, your eyes don't water. When you peel onions and stuff, your eyes won't water. That one's a little thick. Do you guys have haters on your channel? Those are big. Maybe I should go smaller than that. Yeah, I probably should. I'm gonna cut these ones, because those are really big. I don't know, but do you have haters on your channel or people that just don't like you? I've recently, well, not so much recently, but I, there's a person in my life that just doesn't like me it's for something that happened like 30 years ago and I have apologized more than once to this person to the point where I'm just done apologizing. Like You can't apologize anymore. You just can't. Recently, she has found my YouTube channel, my YouTube do, 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 do. my YouTube channel. She found my YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you for the view, by the way. Thank you for the view. But 
What do you guys do when you have someone that just doesn't like you? I can tell you how I'm dealing with this. The Bible says to do nothing, let God handle it. So I'm just letting God handle this. I'm doing nothing back. I'm saying nothing back because where is that going to get you? You can't argue with a person that just doesn't want to understand. So don't don't do that in your life. If you have a person in your life that argues and argues and wants to argue and you can't get your point across, stop trying because it's never going to work and all you're going to do is argue and upset yourself. That's all that's going to happen. So recently I've been over flooded with messages and phone calls through my messenger. This person found my Facebook messenger too. Now this is something that happened over 30 years ago and this person's almost 60 years old now. She's found my Facebook messenger and informed me that she was going to harass me relentlessly and she called me 14 times that night. I mean who has time to do that? Why would I answer just to argue? I'm, I'm not doing that. That's crazy. I know better than that. But I live my life, you know, reading the Bible and, and not just reading it, trying to do what God wants us to do. You know, and I don't hate this person. You don't hate the person. I kind of feel bad for this person. This person's contacted me before, and I have saved everything. I have screenshots of everything. But it's like she's informed me several times now that I ruined her life. Well, for something that happened 30 years ago, you would think by now that you would have moved on. But no, we haven't moved on yet. It's just so immature. I mean, she found the most awful picture of me possible. I'm okay with that. Okay. Hey, how about it? And she screenshotted that and sent it to me. This person did. And then a picture of herself now and it went on to tell me how homely I am. I'm like the homeliest person in the world. Okay. If you think so, how about it? I feel good about myself. Homely or not, that's stuff that like little kids do. So when you guys have people in your life that are people that comment that are nasty, just ignore them. Ignore them. You know, don't be stupid about it. Screenshot everything. Make sure you have everything because eventually you may need to take them to court. And if this person chooses to just keep harassing me, that's that's what's going to happen. I don't want to do that. I mean, don't. I don't now I got to waste my time and take care of that. My life isn't isn't ruined isn't you know my I got over it a long time ago and it's like I'm, I'm not carrying it with me you have to get over things in your life you know if you need to to mourn something or something upsets you and you just are having a hard time with it give it to God just give it to God give it to him every day if you have to every day give it to God I've been there I've done that every day you got to give something to God until you don't feel it anymore. So when you have people that want to comment things on your YouTube channel, delete it. Ignore them. They'll go away eventually. Maybe. I don't know. In my case, it's been over 30 years and every once in a while they pop up. Well, keep record of everything. Make sure you have good records because you may need them one day. I mean, be smart about it. But just ignore the person. So back to my onions. My eyes are now starting to water a little bit. Woo! Boy, they are. I'm gonna turn this dehydrator on and my husband's gonna really think I've cooked dinner. He's like, what's for dinner? I smell onions. Well, not onions. Which I need to think of, what should I make for dinner? I don't even know. I have been so busy lately that, and my fibromyalgia has got me. It's just the last couple days I've spent in bed because, I mean, I tried to go swimming at my daughter's yesterday thinking that would help. Well, no, it didn't. I stayed for about an hour, then I had to come home because, oh, that's a long, that looks like a green worm. So I came home and went right to bed. My poor husband's like, what, did we plan dinner? Mm, no, we didn't plan dinner, sorry. Well, no, yesterday I did. Oh, what is that? What is that thing? I'm gonna do beauty guru. What is that? What is that? Don't know what that is. It's on the top of my onion. I don't know what it is, so it's going to the, it's going 
cone to the worms. I did plan dinner yesterday. We had like sausage sandwiches. He made them on the grill and they were really good. And then we had, I got the air fryer out. So he made french fries. Tonight, I'm not sure because I'm going to get my nails done like right at dinner time. So maybe I'll just bring something home. How's everybody's garden doing? I'm in Ohio and the weather's not warm enough yet and it gets cooler at night. And my things are growing, but they're growing at a, like a snail pace. And I lost a loofah. I've lost one loofah and I've replanted the seeds twice. And I think the squirrels are eating my loofah seeds. But the other, other loofahs are doing okay. I just need the squirrels to stay out of my garden. Yep, squirrel jerky's next if my husband can catch that thing. Oh, and he saw a chipmunk in the yard. We are not having chipmunk jerky. No, nope, not doing that. We've got quite a bit of onions here. And I have canning jars to put these in because pretty soon I'm gonna be canner, Michelle, and you're gonna see canning videos. Can't wait for that. I wanna make like hot peppers. <sighs> I'm getting caught myself. My eyes are watering. Hot peppers and oil, I want to do that. And salsa, I want to make salsa, so I'm growing cilantro. And the cilantro is growing really well. The chives are not. My chives aren't doing too well. I just thought of something. These are going to fall through my trays. And I only have two of them things. Them plastic things. wonder if I can use wax paper. I have wax paper. Oh, I don't know. No. I guess we'll figure that one out too. Can we use wax paper in the dehydrator? Don't know. Probably cutting my onions too big too, but this is the way I want them. Because when they poof back up, I want them like this. Oh, we're almost done cutting. Good God. Let's keep going. Two, oh, here, two more. There. Purple. Look how pretty they are. Okay. Oh, that one's kind of thick, but at this point I'm tired of cutting onions. So we're just going to leave it that way. And I about just got my finger. All right, let me put these in here. We've got a nice little bowl going on. Just a minute and I will show you. I made um, like the Scotty pound cake the other day in the dehydrator. Boy, was that good. I ate all that. My husband might have had a little bit, but I dipped it all in my coffee in the morning. Now my nose is running. My eyes are running. Here, look. Got them all. They're all cut up. See? Woo! Close to the eyeballs. All right, now let me go get the dehydrator. Okay, so I have more than two. All right, see how little those holes are? My onions are going to fall right through there. Watch. See? There they go. Falling through. See? They're down here. They fell through. Okay, so that's not going to work. So I've got, I've got these that we could sit on there. And I'm gonna start with this one first. Do you suppose I could just dump all these onions on here? Or just some, I'll just sprinkle cause that will go quicker. We're sprinkling and then spreading. Oh, see now they're not gonna fall through. There they went through the hole. I wonder if it matters if they're on top of each other, just a little bit. Did, does that matter? Holy but Jesus, if I do this in the house, my husband's gonna, this is gonna be as bad as the bananas. Which, by the way, look, he let me buy bananas again. My husband let me buy bananas. So look for a banana redemption video coming your way after the wedding. Don't have time to do that now. Now, these are on top of each other, and they're just going to have to be that way, some of them. Because I'm not, I am not, look at, that, that's the way they're going to be. Because I refuse to pick them all apart. I'm not doing that. wonder if we should just alternate trips. Let's alternate. Now, how does the air flow through that? Look. I guess we'll figure it out. This is not a how to um, dehydrate onions tutorial. This is Watch Michelle Dehydrate Onions. By no means is this a tutorial. This is not a how-to video because, quite frankly, I'm probably doing all this wrong. Okay, now we're going to go with this tray. All right, now we're gonna go with this one with all the holes in it. So, yeah, and we're gonna sprinkle or dump and then spread. I might make onion powder too, but I need to get one of those, those like coffee grinder things. I don't have one. I used to have one. I don't know what I did with it. 
But I need one of those because then I'll make onion powder and that will be good. I don't like onion salt, but I like onion powder. I started buying canning jars in this earlier spring because I'm going to be... Oh, look at all... All these fell through. We'll just, and we only got that much left, so we're going to make it fit. Oh, this will fit. Oh, now there's onions on the floor. Now, I wonder if I should have the top... I might rotate them. I don't know. How's the air going to get down there? So there we go. Onions. All right, let's get the dehydrator. I've got onions everywhere. I know my dog's not going to eat these. When I dropped all the other stuff, my dog was right there to eat that. Yeah, give me some of that cake. Yeah. I don't foresee the dog eating the onions at any, any point in time. Don't see that. All right, let me go get the dehydrator. All right, we're over here with all these trays. And I'm going to set them in this thing. Whoa, boy, this really smells. This might be a bad idea. All of my windows are closed and the air conditioned on. Yeah, that's happening. And I probably need to make my husband dinner now because he's gonna come home. He's gonna come home and smell this and wonder what we're gonna have for dinner. And I'm gonna say, oh, nothing. That's the onions. I do cook dinner. We do, we do plan. We do, do, we do, do that. I said that before, didn't I? Do, 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 we do, do. And I'm gonna set this. It says fruits and vegetables, 135. But rumor has it that we're going to set this at 125 instead of 135 because slow and steady wins the race a right i know i'm gonna set you down okay that's better my back is hurting so we want to keep all the nutrition in these onions so i'm going to do it at 125 and i'm not going to turn the temperature up this might take a while i don't know but I want to keep all the nutrition of the onions in the onions. So when I rehydrate them, the, they're there. The nutrition's in the onions. There it goes. Now, probably like in about three hours, I'll come out, I'll come and I'll flip all the trays around and we'll check it because now we've got the flat trays in there and the trays with holes. And this already is blowing out onion, onion exhaust. Great. Let me apologize to my husband right now for stinking up the house. Well, I've got a really quick update here. We're 30 minutes in and my entire house smells like onions. And my eyes are burning. This might have to go outside into the garage. I don't know, but <laughs> it stinks in here. It really smells in here. Well, it's the next day and these have been dehydrating for well, let's see. I unplugged them when I went to bed last night because they stunk. These onions, they stunk. And then I had to go to my mom's and my dad's today to hem my daughter's wedding dress, which it turned out beautiful and I did a good job. I can do that. So I plugged them back in when I left because I knew I wasn't going to be home all afternoon and I wouldn't have to smell these. But look at them. They worked. They're crunchy. Oh, and look, there's my fingernails. I got my nails back. Happy girl. I'm a happy girl. So, yep, they're done. All together, they probably ran for 10 hours. Probably too long. They probably would have been done a little bit earlier, but I just got home from the parents' house. I don't know. So we have dehydrated onions. I'm going to put in a little canning jar and save those. Plant more onions and do it again, outside. <laughs> All right, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Come back, subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.